Hi, I'm uh, Pete Goffwood, Kitchen Cowboy and Men's Health Food Guy, and today we're going to be talking about pizzas. We're going to keep it as we have with all of our series, we're going to keep it nice and simple, make it about the ingredients, make it nice and easy, something you can knock at home without too much of a nightmare, without too much of a shopping expedition, and really get hold of some really quality food. Okay, so what we're going to start with first is we're going to make a pizza base. We've got some flour, some good bread flour. We've taken a sachet of uh, instant yeast. Now, this is the kind of thing you buy, the little sachets, don't worry about the recipes that tell you to put it into water and let it bubble and activate. Just throw all your ingredients in in one go, give it some kneading, and you'll come up with perfect dough. So we're going to add to this, we're going to add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Then we've just got a little bit of coarse salt, a little bit of coarse salt, a touch of sugar, and then tons of water. And that's basically it. That's as simple as it gets with, uh, with, with dough. And then we're just going to take it over here and we're going to knead it into a ball and then we can let it rest and roll it out. There we go. We're just, we're just rolling this over with the palm of our hand and this is coming into a nice elastic dough quite easily. Now, this is a little bit on the time consuming. You need to get this kneaded and you must knead for a good five minutes. You want to time yourself because after about two or three minutes, it feels like you've been at it for an hour. So a great bit of exercise and just, it's very therapeutic actually, just back and forward, just rolling this out with the palm of your hand. Okay, now you'll carry on for about another five minutes of this and you'll get this beautiful dough. And then what we're gonna do with this dough is we're going to, we just need to let it rise up. We need to let the yeast activate and what this is gonna do is double in size. So what we do is we take a bowl that we measure our gear out in. We put some olive oil in, and then we'll cover this with cling film, and we'll keep it somewhere um, in a warm spot in the kitchen, um, and let that double in size. That's likely to take about mm, 20, 25 minutes. Right, our dough is doubled in size. We just got a little bit of flour down on our surface. Now the beauty with that olive oil means the bowl, the dough comes right out the bowl quite easily. So now all we're gonna do is just Make a small, just make one pizza. Just roll it into a ball. Floured surface, very important. And we want a nice thin base. Um, you know, if you want a thick based pizza, if you want a thick based pizza, make a sandwich. You know, this is nice thin crust. It's about not making it too overly doughy, overly heavy. All right, that's a thin enough base for what we're after. Now we're gonna put this on our board. Let's take our flour across. Once again, lots of flour on the board when we're working. It helps for the, so the pizza doesn't stick and helps to get, so let's clean our hands. Now, we're going to just do a nice, quick and easy, as I said before, keep it simple. Um, when you're cooking at home, there's no need to over elaborate. So what we've got here is just a little bit of passata. This is just some tin tomatoes that are chopped just open the tin up. Sometimes, the, if it's a little bit watery, just uh, drain it. You don't want your, your sauce to be too wet. There we go. Keeping a little border. Now, what we're going to use here is some decent mozzarella. You don't want to start using those horrible loaves that are only good for uh, touch rugby. This is a beautiful buffalo mozzarella. Um, you can see the quality of it. You can just see how it's been rolled. And you just tear little strands of this. Now this is a good quality, so you don't need to use a great deal of it. But let's say we're keeping this nice and simple. And we'll season this up. And then we'll just do a couple of slices of tomato onto here. One or two nice slices of tomato. And then we'll get some seasoning and some olive oil onto that and we'll get that into the oven. A little bit of coarse salt. So there we've got our pizza base and we're just gonna get a little drizzle of olive oil onto this. Okay, now, the secret to making good pizza at home is a, is a hot oven. You know, if you're looking at one of these um, wood-fired ovens, the internal temperature on those ovens is about 300, 350 degrees. That's what get the pizza nice and crusty and, and how it cooks really, really quickly. Um, and so the whole idea is to get your oven as hot as possible. I've got mine on as maximum of 250. 
And the other thing which I've done, which I'm just going to show you because I'm going to bring it out, is I've put a slate. Okay, what I've done is I've actually got a tile, a tile in this, just in a normal um, either floor tile or any kind of tile. These things um, are, are proved up to, to you know, 800 degrees, so it's not going to crack in your oven. The whole idea being going straight onto a hot surface, which didn't really work, onto a nice hot surface, and that's the best way to cook a pizza. Now that's going back into the oven, and that should take 10 to 15 minutes. The secret is you're getting it onto a nice hot base. If you're putting it onto an oven tray, which is also fine, make sure your oven tray has been in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes, so it's also nice and hot. Otherwise, your pizza has a tendency to stick, and it gets a little bit doughy, and it doesn't quite give that nice crispness that you're after for a pizza. Right, and there we go. With our tile, we've got a really nice crisp base, as you can see, and beautifully cooked pizza. You can see how light that is. It really is almost, you know, shop-bought pizza. Now, before we cut this up, a couple of toppings you could do for this, for example, cut this straight out it is, or we could add a little bit of rocket to that. If you want a little bit of greening, make it healthier, even the odd little bit of ham, a little bit of parma ham or prosciutto, or keep it straight, keep it simple. Um, you know, you're the, you're, you're the master of your imagination when it comes to pizza. If you like chicken and pineapple, um, which is questionable at best, but they then put whatever it is you fancy, pepperoni, chilies, you really can load up on your pizza, but if you're making good pizza, like a lot of the stuff that we do, keep it simple. We've got some nice tomatoes, some nice mozzarella, and you don't need to overcomplicate things. And there we have a stunning bit of pizza, nice and easy, homemade base. I'm not going to pop this in my mouth right away because it's obviously come out the oven and it's like molten lava, but you can smell, it smells, it all smells good. You can smell beautiful yeasty smell, lovely fresh tomatoes, it really is fine pizza.